Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here and today we want to have a quick look at Integromat again and we want to have a detailed look at the Stripe um, modules in Integromat and how to make basically any arbitrary API call to Stripe from Integromat. Let's get right into it. So the scenario today is that we want to update a subscription in your Stripe account. So you want to use Integromat to update a subscription in your Stripe account. And the scenario for today is going to be that we want to add an item to a subscription and we want to delete another item. And before we can have a look at that really quick, I just want to give some understanding of how the different items that we are going to look at in a second, how the different things relate to each other. So in Stripe, you have different kind of items that you work with. One is a customer. So these are your clients and a customer can have multiple subscriptions. So you have a subscription. A subscription is basically kind of the, the monthly recurring charge that you will charge your customers. And each subscription can re be composed of different subscription items. So these think of these subscription items as the different products in a subscription. So someone can subscribe to something, one of your product, uh, sorry, one of your services in a sense, but there can be multiple products or services that are included in one subscription. So they get charged monthly, let's say every time, uh, every month on the first of the month, they get a charge and this charge can be put together out of different products or different services they have with you. So you have a customer, you have subscriptions and you have subscription items or products, you can think of them. These are important terms we're gonna come back to later. So a customer can have a subscription and each subscription can be uh, put together from different products or services. And also each customer can have multiple, uh, multiple subscriptions at the same time. And the use case that we want to look at today is you have one customer which has a subscription and you want to, to delete a product or subscription item from the subscription. And then you want to add another item to the subscription. That is what we want to do today. So let's get right into it. So what do we what we want to do is, or how we're going to do it is we're going to use the Stripe API. I'm going to put the link into the description as well. And this is what's going to guide us, guide us to get through this, through building the scenario. So first of all, what we need is Stripe. And as you can see, the Stripe modules are plenty. Um, but basically what all of these are is just a variation of the make an API call module. So all of the ones you see down here are basically just pre-configured versions of the make an API call um, module. So these just have already information in there or they basically have a nicer interface for you. But it, the only thing that happens in the background is that you make an API call to the Stripe, Stripe API. That's all that happens. So what we want to do today is we want to work with the make an API call module and want to get uh, used to that. So the first thing that we want to do is you have your Stripe account open and if we want to update our subscription, let's, let's first get the information about um, this subscription so we can see kind of how the, the Stripe API is talking to us. And if you go to your customers, then you go to one of your subscription. This is, a, uh, sorry, this is the customer. And then you can see a bunch of um, codes here. So for example, here you have the customer um, ID that you can use to retrieve information about the customer. Here you have the subscription um, with the sub here. This is the subscription ID. Um, let's have a look at that one. Oh. Let's, where are our subscriptions? Here we go. So we have, this is the subscription for a customer. We have our subscription ID. And let's say we want to get the information on the subscription. Then you can copy the subscription ID here, or you can also just use one of the Stripe modules to get all your subscription and filter for the correct one, for example. So we copied the subscription ID. And what we want to configure now is we want to configure a we want to get all the information. So the method we want to select is get. The URL we need is this one. 
V1 subscriptions. So the beginning is, you can see it is already in here. So we just need the path relative to this. So what we want is this v1, v, v1 slash subscriptions. We have a get method and we want to select the correct um, connections. I already prepared a test connection to my Stripe account. We have a get method and then we want to tell them which subscription we want to fetch, sorry. So we copy the subscription ID here throw that into the URL and then it knows Stripe, uh, Stripe now knows we want to get a subscription because of the get method and this is the subscription you want. And then we can run that. And we see that it fetched a subscription. So we see the input, this is what we sent to Stripe, the get method and the output, this is the response from Stripe. And in the body, we can see all the information about the subscription. So we can see the days until due the different items in here. And this is the interesting uh, thing that we wanted to look at here. And that since we want to change the item, so we see currently the items is a list and in this list is currently one item. So we want to exchange that item in the list. So the next thing we do is we want to add a new subscription item. So one thing you have to be uh, mindful of is when you change subscription items in a subscription, the structure or the way the subscription is structured is a subscription is usually monthly recurring. So you cannot add a one-time fee item basically to a subscription. So if you have a monthly recurring subscription, you can only add monthly recurring subscription items or products to this subscription. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make another API call. And this time we want to um, add a subscription item to the subscription we just fetched. And the way we do that is now we need a post method and we again use the same Stripe connection we set up. And this time, since we want to change the subscription items, so this here is the Stripe API again, we use the relative part. So we use v1, v1 slash subscription items as our relative URL. And then we have the U here. This is basically, this is the secret key we have to use. And in our case, the secret key is actually in here in this, in the connection. So we don't need to put it in anywhere here. We just need the URL. We select the type of the, the method. And then what we want to do is, as we can see from the example here, we need different parameters. So first of all, we need to tell the Stripe API, which subscription do we want to update? So we need a parameter subscription. So the first parameter we want is subscription. We can just copy that from here, go over to Integromat and the parameters go into the body. So we say first parameter is subscription. The subscription we, we want to update, we already got it from here. So you can either read this using an API call or in this case, we're just going to hard code it for this example. Um, we say the subscription is this one, sub, blah, blah, blah. This is basically the subscription ID. Then what's the next parameter? The next parameter is we need to select the, we need to set the price. So this is basically which the, the parameter that tells Stripe which product we want to add. And the way you can put multiple parameters into the body is with an end. So, so this, this one here, end. So you put in the first parameter equals the value, then the next, then an end then the next parameter price equals, and then we have to have another value and the, the value for the price. This is basically an API a specific key that tells us which, um, how to, that tells Stripe how to address this product or how to find the product. So let's say we want to add paint as this is a example product we have, we want to add paint to the subscription of our customer. And what you can see here is the API ID. So we copy that API ID price, blah, blah, blah. And we say we want to, we have our end price equals, then we have the API ID for the product we just uh, looked at. 
And now Stripe knows which product it has to add. And the last piece of information is the quantity, but in our case, we just want to add the quantity of one. Yeah, so that's it for the body. You always have the parameter, then you have equals the value, and then the end symbol. If you want to add another parameter, then again, parameter name equals, and then the value. And that's how you put together the body. And the parameters you need, you can see in the Stripe API, these are where you have minus D, these are the parameters you wanna set. Good. So we have our subscription. We have subscription. We have our URL. We have the body. Looks good. And fire. Okay. Small little problem here. Okay. That worked out. So, so we have updated the subscription items in here. And if we go back into our customer subscription we can now see that this customer is subscribed to table and paint so before it was just the table and now they also subscribe to a monthly paint subscription which runs them 25 dollars a month um yeah perfect so that now we have um we have basically we have fetched a subscription we have added a new product or subscription item to this subscription and the next step would be we want to remove the old item from the subscription so we've added paint and we want to remove the table from the subscription so this for this we have to use a delete um call so so we can't do it in one and the same um api module here so we set up make an api call and now what we want to do is we want to select the method delete. And then again, if so here in the Stripe API, we want to delete a subscription item. And um, the way it's, it's put out here in the API in the example is you have minus X delete. And the way we represent that is we select the method delete. So then we just have to make sure that we use the right U URL. So for the U URL, you see that we can copy that here. It's V1 subscription items and then the name of the subscription item or the, the API ID. So let's first put this in here. V1 subscription items. And then we need the subscription ID. And this one you can see in here. So we are in our subscription of the customer. And then you can see that each product, as we just looked at, when we add a new product to a subscription, we use this um, construct, this, this price um, ID here, which basically nominates the product itself. And then once you've added the product to a subscription, the product also gets a subscription, or uh, sorry, a subscription item ID, which you can see here. This one you can also get uh, through the API itself. You can also ask for this ID if you want to get it. But as we see here, each product in the subscription has a subscription item ID. And this is how you can delete the product from the subscription as well. So we want to copy that, go back to Integromat. And then here we, in our delete method, we have to give the ID to the subscription item v1 subscription items um, then the id to the subscription item we want to delete and then other than that we don't need anything we have the api the secret key is in our connection up here and then the method we have selected to be delete click ok we run it again it's gonna take a little moment and what we see now is that we cannot add multiple multiple um, of the same subscription items to this to one plan. So we are actually going to just quickly remove this because we don't want to add the same one multiple times. So we fetch the information here in the beginning and then we want to delete a, um, a subscription item. Let's see if it worked refresh this and the table should now be gone yes table is deleted we just have the paint left yeah so i hope this was uh, a helpful explanation 
if you so this was a really good question from one of the viewers if you have any other questions on integromat on stripe if there's um anything else you want to know anything else you want to have a video on just let me know post it in the comments and i can answer your questions um i hope this was helpful take care